good morning dear students today what we are going to learn is a new chapter and a final chapter for annual examination that is smart charts now what is actually the use of smart charts see as you are growing up whenever you will have or you will face a competitive examination there is a big part called data interpretation you can ask any one of your senior elder brother or sister who is sitting for a competitive examination and they will let you know that for any type of courses like uh, an entrance examination or for different types of jobs also data interpretation is one of the major requirements for today now what are the things in data interpretation that we will learn in this chapter all throughout see that we will learn about pictographs we will learn about bar graphs we will learn about pie charts and we will learn about tally marks now first we will begin with the topic pictographs now as you can see that data interpretation using pictures as representation with the use of pictures we will just find out or calculate anything and this is called pictograph now suppose this is the pictograph for a certain question now you have been asked observe the pictograph given below and answer see that there are many smileys and here on the left hand side there is a column where it denotes the modes of transport and this column denotes the number of students see that there are four modes of transport given bus car walking bicycle and beside bus there are seven smileys beside car there are four smileys beside walking there are six smileys and beside bicycle there are three smileys see that the key of this pictograph is given that means a smiley represents three children then i think students it would become easier for you to find out how many students used each mode of transport now actually these will be our questions so we move to the next board now as you can see first question is find how many students used each type of mode of transport so for this question you can just calculate it from here that 7 multiplied to 3 that means 21 use the bus 3 4 multiplied to 3 that means 12 students use the car 6 multiplied to 3 means 18 students use the mode of walking as their preferred choice and number fourth choice is bicycle that means 3 multiplied to 3 that is 9 students used bicycle as the mode of transport now i come to the next page see you have to find out how, what was the total number of students that used each type of mode of transport and as you can see over here the full can calculation or the entire calculation regarding each mode of transport and the number of students is made we move to the next part now coming to board number b question number b which is the most preferred and least preferred mode of transport see that if you come over here to the pictograph page you see that most preferred is bus that means 21 students prefer bus and only 9 students prefer bicycle so you can see that most preferred mode of transport is bus whereas the least mode uh, preferred mode of transport is i cycle now final question from here is finding out the total number of students who use the four modes of transport that is the number of students that were surveyed to find out the entire result now what you need to do you have already calculated them for different uh, modes of transport 21 for bus 12 for car 18 for walking and 9 for bicycle after coming over here what you need to do simply add these values up you will get 60 so there were 60 students 
who use the four mentioned modes of transport that are given above. So students, this is our first example. So for this video lesson, we'll have only one example. Later on, when more video lessons would be uploaded there, you will find that one after the other, there are more and more number of questions with a few of them being solved and a few of them being unsolved. So just understand the question because data interpretation is one of the most scoring and one of the most interesting parts of mathematics. I hope I was able to let you know uh, what is data interpretation. So only one part we have began that is pictographs. Slowly we will just unfold all the other topics. Thank you students.